Not another step. Hey, what are you doing? What's up guys, BG Mike here, and I just watched the October 2017 progress reports uh, on Yandere Dev's, uh, you know, blog. And there is a lot of crazy stuff that's been added to the game, so let's just get it started, but, oh wait, let's drink, we have coffee. We have coffee too, there's new updates, and we have coffee, wow. Let me tell you guys, this one is a dandy, okay? This one is a special one for you guys, okay? And if you don't like it, you're trash. You're trash, Brock. Why? Why? Oh, what the heck, there's a debug quick start? What's, what does that mean? Is that just like... You just start? It's like, no, no, I don't know what it means. Help! Alright, there's two features that we- that I definitely have to talk about because it's just crazy. Well, actually three. Um, it's pretty crazy. I, we haven't got a build like this, you know, that had some really cool stuff in- in a long, long time. Counselor! Your boyfriend's here! <laughs> don't misbehave. Why? I almost wish I didn't watch it just so I would know, but I probably would have missed it if I didn't watch the Yandere- Yandere Devs video. Uh, but let's go, let's go. Where's that headmaster's office? Two hours later. The, oh, oh my god, here it is! Finally! I swear we passed this! Alright. Eh! Hey! <laughs> oh, it's you! Wait, what do you mean it's me? Not another step. Hey, what are you doing? Put that down! Nice decision. What? Why? I just want to talk to the headmaster! Wise decision. Why is he trying to shoot me? <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 I go close. for it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he kills us! <laughs> Question mark. Mr. Psycho, the deal is off. What? <laughs> Do you know what this means? I don't. Mr. Psycho, the deal is off. What? What? Boy. All right, to the Andre Depp's website. Headmaster, where's the head? Where's the head? There he is. There is that little pudgy guy. Come here. Hmm. I love the fupa he's got going on. All right, so the headmaster. We never really took a look at this that much, but this is uh, Kocho Shayud. Sh Shayud Shayona, I got that right on the first try. Kocha Shayuna is the headmaster of Yandere Chan's school. He is 59 years old. He has uh, held the same position since 1985. Interesting. Was that around the same time that uh, Ayano or uh, what's her name? Crap. Dang it. I forgot her name. Yandere Chan's mom. Was that the same time she went to school? Hmm. Oh, I'm stupid. I should have just read it. It's when the <laughs> school first opened doors. At the beginning of his career, he was a cheerful, optimistic, energetic young man who was full of hope for the future. However, over the course of his long tenure, his uh, demeanor has changed drastically. He has become a cynical, pessimistic, world-weary old man who seems to have completely lost his faith in the world, especially its youth. You know, wait, when they turned into Yandere girls, yeah, I, I could see why. What happened over the course of the past few decades to change this man in such drastic ways? What regrets does he live with? What kind of decisions will he make now, at the end of his career, now that he has so little to lose? Well, apparently, he'll shoot us! <laughs> and so he mentioned Mr. Psycho. This would be him. Nice description. So he said, Mr. Psycho, the deal is off. The deal is off. I think he said Mr., right? So, it obviously has something to do with the murders. And okay, let's go back. Let's go back to something that we've all heard before. Dang, we're going. We're going to game theory in this right now. I've been craving a piece of the story, and here we finally have it. You guys don't even freaking know right now. Why have you come here? To taunt you? Have you come here to taunt me? Ah, uh, yes, I have. <laughs> My father won't allow me to attend school while you are active. He has a reason for tolerating your presence at this school. I don't. There it is. That's the key. That is the that key. Is only allowed to exist because you serve a purpose. Now, what purpose do we serve? If it was my decision, then every last one of you would be exterminated. Every last one of us? Have fun okay. while you can. Fun if you and yeah. I ever cross paths, you're going to have a bad time. Now, see, here's the here's the missing link. Why would uh, Mr. Psycho, the pre whatever, the the president or CEO of Psycho Corp, why would he want us to? go around uh, killing students. Why would he want such a thing? And clearly, the the headmaster is very passionate and you know, when he started, he absolutely loved the school, right? So obviously, he doesn't want to see his students that he's so passionate about get murdered. That's just not something that is supposed to happen in school. You learn, you learn in school, you don't get stabby stabbed in school, okay? That's not normal. But somewhere along the line, as you can see by what he said, they made a deal. And I'm sure that deal involves a lot of money. And probably a lot, a lot of money. 
Who could provide the money? Mr. Psycho, the CEO of the freaking, this mega corporation that makes electronics and cell phones, they're filthy rich. Right? So there's a lot of shady stuff going in behind these schools and you know, and I think that's kind of how it is in, in a lot of schools Really what makes the schools go around is money So and that's why you always see the the kind of uh, cliche things uh, I think like I seen it life and straight life is strange and, and you know, like TV shows and stuff like if, if say a student comes and they're you know Their parents are filthy rich and they'll donate money to the school um, then yeah, you're gonna treat them good, right? And that's why everyone picks on them because their parents are rich I can't figure out why psycho would want us to you know continue killing people i that's the thing i can't really understand is this supposed to be black <laughs> whoa audio what okay there's okay we're on information overload here this is a freaking another new room see look at look at psycho is just plastered everywhere okay they own everything and of course they're gonna be filthy freaking rich they're basically i think psycho in this game is basically microsoft all right so, you know, Bill Gates being one of the richest man in, men in the world, uh, you can kind of guess how much money, uh, you know, Mr. Psycho has. No, that would be impossible. You must be... What? Daughter. Wait, how do you... I'll tolerate you in my school, but not in my office. See, he knows. Leave at once. And if I don't? But if I laugh? We should, we should laugh. There is nothing for you to Just... I mean, th this honestly seems like it would happen. Like, she would start laughing out of nowhere because she's like, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, we gotta, we gotta listen to all of his voice lines here. There's nothing for you to achieve here. Leave it once. He said he'll tolerate us in school, but not in his office. So he knows that we're here, but, but he was surprised. It seemed like he was a bit surprised. He was like, oh, you must be her daughter. So obviously, the Psycho Corporation has been paying them off since our mom killed them. And uh, I wonder if he's the oh, ooh, 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 guys. This is probably a far-fetched, but I wonder if he is the one that hired the journalist to follow around, uh, I, uh, dang it, Aishi, Aishi, that's her name. Ah, I finally remembered. Nice. Not another step. Oh, it's like, I like, I like the details, his chair moves and stuff You're like that. up to no good. I know it. How do you know that? I'm just trying to ask you. I, I've, I'm just trying I'm to- I'm not going to let you harm me. He has like a taser, doesn't he? I'll use self-defense if I deem it necessary. Dang, this is intense. Like, this is- this is so cool. Come on, don't shoot me, Mr. Counselor Man, or Mr. Headmaster Man. I love you. <laughs> I love this. This is such a good thing. This is so out of the ordinary for what we've seen of Yandere Simulator, don't you guys think? Guys, put it in the comments. Why do you think Psycho Corporation would want us to go killing people? Like, or allow us, at least, to continue, you know, doing what we do in our yandere ways. And what's kind of funny about it is that, like, all we care about is senpai. We don't even care about their crap. Like, we don't, we don't even care about, like, whatever they got going on. We just care about senpai. But clearly, they know about our family. They, they, they know about our family and what we do. They know that we're crazy and we're, so, we're somehow being used as these, as these weapons for this corporation. But what in the world is, like... Oh my god, I just don't know. And then we have Infochan. How does Infochan play in all of this? Is uh, Infochan, is she connected to Psycho Corporation? Uh, oh god, there's so much to, there's so many questions now. I can definitely see Infochan working for the Psycho Corporation or something like that because she has so much info. So I would think it's only obvious at that point that she is like, would be connected uh, or like do work for them. Because she gets all this information, no one knows how she gets it. She probably does it for money, right? She gets money out of it, I'm sure. And I also find it really interesting that Megami Psycho does not agree with her father's decision. Like, she doesn't like it. She really doesn't like it. But yet, she's gonna inherit the company one day. And, uh, yeah, it's just this, this story. This story's so cool. I'm, I'm really glad it's playing off this way. And we just have to figure it out. Because it gives us questions, and I love that. So here's another key part. Megami has been absent from school for nine weeks under mysterious circumstances that she has not disclosed to anyone. She has still managed to keep up with her schoolwork by attending class through a laptop. And has also been able to manage the school's student council by attending meetings via video call. She is noticeably upset about this. She strongly believes that she could be attending school like a normal student and is resentful of her current situation although she is not at liberty to explain the reasons for her absence. Megami, unlike all other characters, is fully aware of the fact that there is a dangerous person uh, on school grounds. Once she arrives at school, she will do absolutely everything in her power to protect the school's reputation or population. That includes installing security cameras, hiring security guards, and installing a zero tolerance tolerance policy for suspicious behavior. Megami clearly has some important information that would cause her to go to such extreme lengths. But what does she know? Does Psycho Corp have anything to do with it? 
And more importantly, does uh, Senpai have anything to do with it? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I still don't know what that means, but everyone says it's swap saying it. All right, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that the missing link, the missing link is Senpai's parents. Okay, Senpai's family. We literally know pretty much nothing about Senpai or his parents or his family, but there's something. There, there's something. There has to do something with Senpai. This big secret that we don't know. Because, think about it, I don't know. I, I have no idea how else this, this all is gonna really come together. Senpai is always the connecting freaking link. Megami is gonna want Senpai. Everyone's gonna want Senpai, and we're gonna stop them. And I, I'm guessing Psycho, uh, Mr. Psycho, whatever, knows this. And, uh, see? Yeah, that's what, I'm kind of at a, at a loss for words. I don't know, I, I don't understand his reason, reasoning. Oh, I can talk about this all day. This is so fascinating. Ginka is actually her name. Her mother served as the school's uh, guidance counselor for 30 years beginning in the 80s. The 80s? Oh, man. I know. I, I think you're, I think Android Dev already said that there was going to be an 80s mode. He did say that last video, I believe. So that's when the story's really going to come together. What the freak did our mom do <laughs> to cause all this crap? Because obviously, whatever she did, she must have made some crazy deal. Okay. Oh my god, guys. I think I just answered my own question. In the 80s. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Why do you guys think that we never ever see Yandere Chan's dad? He's the missing link. Okay. He is for sure. I, I am almost 100% certain that Yandere Chan's dad is the missing link. So I don't know what this deal is, but in the 80s, this is when this all started, right? When, when, when she was killing uh, uh, students for her senpai. Aishi must have made a deal with uh, the psycho, Mr. Psycho, who obviously went to this school as well, back in the 80s. Uh, they must have made, they made some kind of deal that would, that would allow the, the headmaster to let all this happen. He obviously uses money to do that, correct? So at some point, they definitely made a deal in the 80s. And I really believe that Yandere Chan's dad really has something to do with that because he was he was going to the school as well. I don't know what Mr. Psycho would really gain from making s some sort of deal. Maybe just because he may have liked her. Maybe he likes maybe he likes uh, Yandere Chan's mom. I don't freaking know. Oh my god. But I think I think we're on to something. I think we're definitely on to something. All right. Sorry guys I know I'm talking a lot, but like if, if you like the on dairy simulator uh, as a fan like I do You know, it's not just playing it on YouTube or whatever But I really really like the story and I want to know so much more about it I really want to hear your guys, uh, you know theories down below because now we're really on to something so, you know, let me know if you agree with me about, uh, you know, Yandere Chan's father being this missing link that we don't know about. We absolutely know zero information about him. The only little information that we got about him is kind of what he looks like in uh, Yandere Chan's uh, uh, childhood story uh, video. But let's take a, a, a nice little trip down to the meme closet. Uh, go go say hi to Scrub Chan and nothing else. There's nothing else in there, guys. Do you believe me? Scrub Chan, hey! You little piece of crap. How you, how you doing? You're looking pretty today. What? What is this? A C? Crush? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> no, this is this is really awesome, guys. Um, for the OG scrubs, I used to play Crush Crush, like a game called Crush Crush, which is a clicker game. It's a clicker game where you just click uh, the waifus and you get them to love you. And you just get your like uh, relationship level up, you take them out on dates and cool stuff like that. Like we made a bunch of episodes. We never really like made like all the characters, but we stopped. And there's going to be another event on October 13th that Yandere Dev announced and I'm pretty freaking excited for that. So Yandere Chan has been added to Crush Crush and we, we did make an episode on that. Uh, you guys can feel free to look that up. I did make an episode on that. And so they, they uh, so Yandere Dev said, you know, a long time ago that he was going to add Crush Crush characters to Yandere Sim. I thought he was just going to add maybe Beverly, like, our beer, be bear, bear, Barely. <laughs> I think he said he was just gonna add that character because he said that I don't know I think he made a joke about that, but no, he ended up adding freaking all the main characters. So that's pretty freaking cool Oh dang look at that skin though. That looks that looks clean. That's freaking awesome It looks just like them. I can't remember their names because it's been so long since I played it But they all have their different traits as well, you know The heck where <laughs> she was spying on us Just get back in there. This girl's like the gamer girl uh, the first one, the first one was like a tsundere. 
Oh, this is okay. Um, oh, I cannot remember their names to save my life. I want to say her name is like Miu or something. This is the cat lady. She really loves cats. In fact, let's go. Let's go look. Take a look at the cat. I mean, it's what she would want. I remember in Crush Crush, you literally find her in a cardboard box. <laughs> like she's, she literally thinks that she's a cat. It's like, it was sad. What is that weep doing in front of me? <laughs> now you got me wanting Crush Crush to be a 3D game. Dang it. Uh, just in case you guys didn't know, I've been playing a game called Shoujo, uh, Shoujo City. I called it Shoujo Simulator and that was wrong. Uh, Shoujo City is actually uh, a 3D like anime game that got turned, uh, or a 2D, I'm sorry, can't talk, what's wrong with me? It was a 2D uh, game that was really cool, it's about like Japan and Japanese stuff and about dating and stuff, but that got turned into a 3D game, which I have been playing guys, so feel free to check that out as well. And that actually has Yandere Simulator stuff in it as well. So it w I think it'd be really cool to see a uh, Crush Crush in a 3D game where you actually like I mean, I don't know how it would work. They would definitely have to rework the whole entire game, but it'd still be cool just seeing them like this. Alright, what other characters have has been added? Oh, yeah, so this is a girl I remember that cooks. She's, like, uh, pretty dumb, I think. She cooks... She cooks things, if I remember. Is she... Well, I don't know. She might be the cooking one. It is a really addictive game, and it's free to play, so you guys should definitely check it out. Th this is the girl that says RAR. It's, like, the scene chick that's, like, punk rock. No, no, this is the cooking one. See, this would be perfect. We can join the cooking club. It would only be right at this point. Did he add them all? So this is the Terminator chick. I think this is- I think this girl was like from another time or something like that. She really talked weird. Oh, this is, uh, uh, God, 3D Chan or something. <laughs> she- this, she's a holograph. She's- she's a hologram. But it's really cool to see her like this. See, now- now it's just really out of my mind. I can't remember what she does at all. Yeah, guys, definitely check out Crush Crush. It's on Steam. If there's any reason to play it, you can at least play it for Yan Jerry Chan. But I guarantee you, you probably will end up liking it because it's a pretty fun game and a pretty good time killer. All right, I, I'm really interested to see how the freaking headmaster is going to react to a dead body because he's scared to death of us killing him. Uh, what, what is he going to do when we actually bring a body in there? We're, this is going to be a freaking good prank. <laughs> We're going to get it real good. Oh, headmaster, big boy. Come here. I got a present for you. I heard it's your birthday. <laughs> it's, it's you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> well, that would be impossible. You must be daughter. What is freaking Midori? I'm freaking chopped liver? In... And what do you Not think? Not another step. <laughs> a wise decision. <laughs> Don't put your gun away. Do you see what I have here? It's a present for you. He doesn't care. Here, I'll set this You're here. up to no good. I know <laughs> it. Gee, you think? You think I'm up to no good? I'm not going to let you harm me. But you don't care about Midori. He's like, I don't give a crap what you do, just don't I'll touch me. I'll use self-defense if I deem it necessary. If you were a cop, it would be uh, absolutely necessary at this point. Oh, her eyes are open. She's like, he's like, oh, she's alive. <laughs> she's alive and well. Well, at this point, we could just frame him, right? Because he doesn't care. Can we kill him? I I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess and say no already. I, I wonder if we use the Easter egg to like run up to him really fast before he even has time to pull out his gun. Can we do something? A wise decision. Do you have no comment on this at all? Here, let's see. Let's see. You asked for it. Oh, we drop her. Ow! I love the question mark. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna go to Falcon mode. We're gonna charge up in there. All right. All right. At the speed of uh, falcons. We're gonna charge up in there, and we're gonna see what happens if we can maybe hit him, or just just run up to him before he hits us. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably just gonna stop us and wait till he actually kills us. That's probably what it will do. Hi. <laughs> it's, it's you. You asked for yep, it. Yeah, I see. I was, I was. Yeah, it doesn't work. All right. So what we're gonna do now is gonna go bad time mode, and we're gonna shoot him and see if he is, uh, if we can take him out. I st still don't think it's gonna work. We can't take out the counselor. We can't take out the delinquents. Why would we be able to take him out? Just wouldn't make any sense. Leave at once. Oh, you got something against bald-headed people or something? Let's kill all students. Hey, he's like, ha! I'm not a student. <laughs> you asked for it. Ah, crap. Ow. A new feature that's been added is uh, there's a cleaning time in Japanese schools. Um, students are, like, you have to clean. Like, they have students that actually clean the classrooms and stuff like that. So, I've always had the question if there's actually janitors that still clean. I don't really know, but I definitely know that students do clean. Um, usually people will get assigned, it's like rotated, I believe, that, uh, you know, a student, uh, at the end of the day cleans the chalkboards, cleans the classrooms, and, you know, they, it's, it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty good self-discipline for students to actually clean the classroom. It gives them good, good manners and, and stuff like that, I believe. So now that's finally here, since this is supposed to be a Japanese school after all. Look at him. Look at him cleaning the floor. Look at him. Good 
that's a good student right there. Now see what this does is uh, when we're carrying a mop in a bucket and it's not cleaning time, it's gonna look really suspicious because there's actually a cleaning time and that makes so much more sense. Would have never thought of that. It's really amazing how much stuff you have to think about when when you're making a game. So it looks like in this case everyone is on cleaning duty. See that's the thing I don't know. I think I've always heard that it was it was like certain students to get assigned to cleaning duty, but not all of them. But if it was all of them, it would, it would be done like that, like, like that. So I don't really, I'm not really certain about that, uh, that aspect. Look at Saki, she's doing good. She's cleaning the windows. She's like, I do good. Peppy, there you go. I still don't know if I say her name right. <laughs> That's cool, the animations for that. <laughs> Here, why don't we give them something to clean up? <laughs> let's, let's give them something to clean up, all right? Epo, the channel helps too. Oh my god, that's a big mess! <laughs> I can't clean this by myself, says Saki. I'm gonna go get back up. All right, last thing, let's go ahead and carry the mop and see what people say. It's not cleaning time, right? Why are you carrying that? It's not cleaning time. Silly, it's always cleaning time. For Yandere Chan, you guys didn't know I'm the janitor, by the way. Actually, janitors get paid a lot. I wanted to be a, I'm, I'm not even joking, guys. I wanted to be, uh, well, the custodian is actually, I think, the, the, the more proper way to say janitor, but they actually get paid a lot. They get paid like 15 bucks an hour. If you're gonna have a job, might as well freaking take that. I'll clean freaking schools, sure. Well, th that was back then, though. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I like what I do. Today's group of the day is the Classified Family. Thank you so much for the Bijou Squad. Oh, hashtag Bijou Squad is lit. If you guys want to be scrub of the day, follow me on Twitter, tweet me stuff. And uh, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to become part of this amazing community that we call Scrubville. I'm Beat You Mike, and I'll see you Scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys.